Welcome to our reading for Tuesday, the 29th of November, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of all. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links below. See if there's more depth to this reading, signs and symbols for you, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Welcome to our reading for Tuesday, the 29th of November, 2016. We're going to start with one card from the Monera Tarot today. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Let's get some clarity and focus on the energetic waves going on Tuesday the 29th of November 2016 and how to ride these energies best for all of us. Let's start with one card. Well, that's the chariot. That's a really nice card to begin with. This is the big victory in my eyes in the tarot. It's the major arcana victory. It's finally taking the reins of, you know, like opposite extremes, uh, like the storm of energies that were brewing before and you are now in control, taking control, taking the lead um, on the right path on the right direction for big victory in your world, abundance in your world that you feel, that you can taste, touch, smell, experience, love, talk to. You know, it's in your environment. It's funny, it's, there's a big camera here. So I see videos, videos, pictures, communication, perhaps across the world to a bigger audience. Perhaps it starts with something small inside you, like inside your home. Um, perhaps going outside into, I just heard a park. I saw a park bench for some reason. So there's like, the film is on fire here. You're on fire with something. There's a spiritual fire moving inside of you, getting you to do something. You know, telling you, yes, take a picture of that, or yes, Take a picture of that in your head. Remember that. Go with that. You know, ride that wave, that one that feels right to you. Um, the picture you want to move into. I see like a storybook again, but like you're in the storybook. You're making it happen. You're creating this abundance in your world as you think, as you grow, as you as you do. I'm, I'm getting like do, like I am movement. There's so much fire in this card. She is just riding on top of a big old film camera, like in bliss, with ease, like a dancing, you know, like a dancing, moving energy of, I don't know, I hear victory. So that's sort of a weird description, but look at all the flames. You know, you're just taking hold of passion, taking hold of that victory and making it happen. You know, you're projecting something that's going on inside of you, that passion inside of you. You're projecting that forward now. You're making it amplified. You're making that movement, that feeling inside of you, those talents inside of you, that idea that's coming through today. And you're projecting it farther. So it brings you, well, not only abundance now, because she looks pretty abundant. She looks like she's enjoying this moment. 
You know, the music that's playing, the way she's feeling, her emotions, her expression, maybe it's artistic expression, you know, that creates this movement, this, it's weird, it's creative expression, but I feel like the chariot is so strict. You know, I, I usually feel like it's very straightforward. You're taking energy and riding and it's like two horses or two bulls and, you know, opposite polar opposites. And you're making those energies work together to go where you want them to go. Your choice here. This is up to you. So it's a seven. It creates spiritual change in your world if you choose. Um, it's a big change. So it might happen without much effort even. Maybe it was something really hard for you in the past or hard to deal with or weird, difficult energies and now they're gonna flow better. Now you got, you know, everything in the right gear. You know, you've learned to use your clutch in the situation. Your, I hear adjustment. There's been an adjustment somewhere so that you can have more control. Maybe you released something so you could just adjust, adjust something back towards you. So whatever you're, I feel like there's something inside of you you want to project out. So maybe it's like spiritual energy, spiritual excitement about something. And now you want to share it. You want to talk about it. You want to ride further into that subject, that environment, that relationship. This could be, I mean, it's what you want coming through is what it is. So this is different for all of us. This could be a brand new job, that new idea, that thing you want to get your hand, hands into, um, a new project, that relationship you've been waiting for, that connection you've been desiring, or something you didn't see coming at all, but that you learn how to control right away, that you get on board with right away, that makes it, things happen right away. So it might be a surprise, but I feel like you know it's for you and you get on and you go. So... Let's see. Let's get more clarity. Uh, let's go to the steampunk tarot and get another card for the chariot. Number seven, Der, Vag or Der Wagen, Le Chair, El Carro. Oh, this could be actual, like, sometimes when I think of the chariot, I think of, like, transportation, too. Here, it's you moving, like, maybe moving pictures. Maybe it is transportation, moving um, your pictures out there, your images, your visions out there, but it could be like a new car coming in, you know, getting approved for something so you can go somewhere. It could be that opportunity to travel somewhere far to do something that you couldn't do where you were before. You know, it seemed far away through the glass, you know, on the other side of the world, something you had to look up on the internet to see in reality that you're going to be able to get to now. So it could be like a vacation, a destination, booking a trip, you know, something comes through, your vacation time, everything comes together and you move. Um, let's see, let's get another card for, I'm getting car. So it could be a brand new car or selling your car or, I see cancer here. So, I mean, feeling how you want to move feeling like you want to get in your car or your or the train or the bus and go like feeling the itch the need to move with this and having i want to say the right transportation or instance or you know ride come and pick you up exactly when it needs to come um i just heard ride of a lifetime so if it looks like it's going to be a fun ride, perhaps get in and, you know, give it a go. See how it, see how it flows. Maybe it's something that you're feeling out because you're going to drive something like this for yourself later. I'm not exactly sure what I just said. So maybe that's like a test drive. You're taking a test drive with something, with someone, feeling something out, and you're going to know that that's the right one for you. You're going to also know when it's not the right one for you because it's going to bring you back to the same shit you went through before and not feel right and feel like everything's out of control and you don't know where your buttons are or how to press the gas or what's going on. You're going to know when it's the right seat for you. So let's get a card for El Carro. The Chariot. 
and that's the Knight of Swords. So having a plan, um, having a big plan that works out well, coming up with a plan, uh, the Knight of Swords, uh, he's, he or she is looking for truth, looking for um, a way to figure something out, a way to pursue something and have it all come together in the end. I feel like you're the coordinator here. It could be um, somebody helping you out today with this idea, you know, somebody that helps you with a plan, putting something together that's going to work, that feels right. Um, it could also be someone I just heard calling bullshit on somebody. So maybe you're calling bullshit on something that wasn't working before. You realized it wasn't the way to do it before. And you're going to recognize how to get the plan into action now. It could be an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in your world, in your chart, or just advice for us. But it's thinking clearly. Sometimes the Knight of Swords rushes into something without thinking. So it's finding that balance, making sure you make balanced plans and um, balanced action. You know, I, I hear reaction. So understand how others might react to this. I also want to say be careful whom you tell your big plans to. You know, if they're not thinking clearly or they're seeing with too narrow a focus maybe within their own perception of things or how they think things should be. This could be a big victorious card for you and not necessarily somebody else. Maybe somebody else saw a plan a different way before and now you see how that didn't work and what should work. But I think this is helpful. It could be a harsh energy. It could be very, like I see like blinders on a horse. You know, like, or like looking through something and only seeing one possible destination or one thing that you have to get to or one thing. And I feel like there should be an expansion here so that you see the bigger plan. So maybe there was a narrow focus before and the bigger plan's going to come through with this Knight of Swords. I feel like you're ready to draw the truth on something. Um... It looks really cold where you are, but it looks like the sun is piercing through. It look like they look like UFOs to me, or like the the yeah, the, like the long UFOs here that also sort of just look like big clouds or chemtrails in the sky. So I don't know. Maybe there's a bigger plan above the situation, or there's something like clearing away that should or shouldn't be there. Um, I see the Rocketeer. I feel like she has like a Rocketeer pack and she's just going to fly away out of the situation or see the truth and then, you know, pursue that. I, I don't know. I feel like it's cold where you are here. So I think the plan of action is probably moving somewhere. She looks like she's ready to go. So let's get more clarity on the Knight of Swords. Sometimes that energy can be harsh and not understanding the whole truth because you want to have the truth, but you don't have it all yet. You know, you don't have it all yet. There's still things behind the scenes that you don't see or somebody knows about and you don't yet. So if you're coming somewhere, maybe there's a lot more going on than just this snowy, stale environment. You know, it looks like she's, he's pretty prepared for something. So maybe you have to have a conversation, have something come to light, um, you know, go inside and see what's going, in, go, going on in here. Check out the environment before you proceed with something, before you pursue something. So you can take a look at the bigger picture and know where you're going to be steering. You know, if you're getting in that chariot and this is a new environment, you have to know where you are and explore a little bit first. Um, do I have, I do, this steampunk deck is hold on kind of new and they all have like a little saying so let's go to the knight of swords and see what it says um this all right the knight so the knight of swords Can't find it. There you are. All right. So the Knight of Swords is 
Look at my plan. Have you ever laid eyes on anything so lovely? Core meaning is someone whose actions are motivated by new ideas, systems, and communications. So, I feel like whoever, the, like, there's something that's in your head, like, you want to get it out, like, my plan, my plan, like, you want that communicated, there's somebody else who wants to communicate something to you, it's actually a really good idea, but maybe there's a bigger, broader way to open up that plan, you know, so that there's, I don't know, I feel like the plan was sort of single-minded before, you know, and now there's a bigger plan coming through with this chariot. So, let's get a little more expansion on this bigger plan that's coming through for Tuesday on the Chariot and the Knight of Swords. So maybe it's, I don't know, I, like, I feel like the plan of action is going to be bigger than what you thought before, even though, you know, this means you thought you were pretty clear before. It does. It means you think you thought you knew everything that was going on pretty good. But I feel like there's more opening up and bursting through with that chariot that actually gets you moving. Um, it's like you have the plan going on, but there's nothing happening here or nothing that you can see yet. Here, everything's passionate and fiery and happening and moving. And here you're just sort of standing around thinking too much. So I feel like it's time to put some fuel in the fire with whatever this is today so that it happens and you're not just thinking about this plan and it's never doing anything. You know, it never gets off the blueprints. It never makes it off the paper. It never gets out of your head. Um, or it could be something that's been in this person's head for a while and now it's time to get out because you're sure of something and you need to start some action on it to see how it's going to work. Otherwise, it's just sort of in the ethers. You have to actually take action and put experience and something physical into this environment so there's abundance and it's not just going on you know, I see like, like type, I, that was weird. I see like typewriter and like, just like letters coming up on a page, almost like codes. Maybe it was like codes. I see almost like a crossword puzzle or something where you have to like focus in or back away on something to find the answer. Like, uh, almost like a magic eye where you change your focus and the same thing was there. But once you change your perception on what you're focusing on or broaden it up, different things pop forward that you didn't see before. That was sort of interesting. Um, all right, let's get a card. This is just the, the angel tarot. Let's get clarity on the Knight of Swords, the Chariot for Tuesday. And that's the King of Water. So something that you were thinking about for a long time that possibly not only pertains to your passions and big victories in your life, but your heart, your emotions, what you love to do, the waves you want to pursue. The king of water is sexy, beautiful, compassionate, psychic, deep, loving. You know, he's, he's emotional. So he can be all ends of the spectrum from you know, cold to extremely passionate. I want to say daring and um, like the confidence to dive down deep into the waters of the ocean where the scariest shit is that you can imagine and deal with it. Learn to ride those waves. Learn to, you know, navigate your submarine or your fancy fishtail here and get through those obstacles, get through those challenges, face those fears, you know, Love, fears of love, fear of loss, fear of not being good enough or not having enough confidence or not being in the right place of your life that you want and just getting over all that and riding with every wave that comes to get you through it. So it brings you back to the surface where you can breathe again and understand what's below. So you're not tucking something away. He's, he's powerful with his sensitivities. Like, that's his strength. So he helps others understand how their emotions are valuable. To, and, you know, good, bad, everything. They're all valuable because they all teach us something. What feels right for our world, what's not good for us. You know, how our action made us feel weird about something we did and how we don't want to do that again the next time that wave comes through. So 
don't sh shut off something or get cold with something or be afraid to dive down deep into something. Really, really feel something out here. Um, it could also be a water sign. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, male or female. This is the doing energy of what you love. The pursuing energy of what you love. But it is a male energy. So it could be a male energy around you in your world. These could be two different people. This would be the slightly younger energy than the king. You know, the knight is the movement, but you're thinking about the movement here. And the king is ready to ride the, that ride those waves. You know, make the movement happen. You know, make some waves occur. Um, you know, I just heard, like heard sheets. You know, I think of the ocean and what goes on underneath the surface of that. It's like, you know, the inner emotions of you. What happens in the bedroom, even. I feel like this is romance. Not being afraid of romance. Expressing the romantic side of you. You know, maybe writing something down. I'm getting letters again. So maybe poems or musical expressions of love. Or maybe there's some kind of way you can add... I'm getting romance. So maybe you write. Or you're putting a little romance in your world. You know? A little... I don't know. Like getting yourself... I see somebody like getting themselves dolled up. Maybe for this... Maybe for this king, maybe it's time to get yourself dolled up today, or this is the king. I mean, he does look like he has makeup on. He looks like he has, he totally does. Look at you. It just made me think of Laid by James for some reason. Um, I'll put that below. If I, I hope I can find the acoustic version because I never heard the song, the song's lyrics until I heard the acoustic version of that song. That was weird. Um, there's also different fish. I heard sun, but I, like goldfish, but that's not a goldfish. I don't even know what they are, but maybe a sunfish or something. There's like a, a clownfish and then a dolphin. So there's communication. There's, there's something, you know, he's standing like this, like a genie, like he's thinking about granting a wish. You're thinking about pursuing something you wish to do, or you're thinking about, or what's the best wish for you. Um, Maybe you were blocking something off before, or you're blocking something off that wasn't good for you, or you're saying no this time on something. You know, you don't want to be too um, vulnerable as the king of water. You want to be, a, you don't want to be a hard ass and, you know, completely block your emotions, but you don't want to be a softy and be taken advantage of too because you want to see the good in everybody. And maybe even though somebody has beautiful, good, loving things in them, they're not in the right energetic frequency to help you out on your victorious path. So this is knowing when to say no as well to things that aren't good for you, that you can't handle on your plate right now and getting more respect for saying no than saying yes and doing a shitty job or not handling at all or getting too emotional. So it's balance in your emotions. You know what's uh, worth pursuing and what's not valuable to your time and your energy. Um, trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work. So wanting the energy you put into something to be healing and abundant for not only you, but everyone. That every vibration that you think, your intention that's put out there, creates these waves of harmony that go out and affect and help and heal others. You know, like loving vibrations going out there and just stretching out to the universe says, 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 you know, every thought that we think, every beautiful loving intention we have can be healing. Um, I hear release. So say, maybe there's just saying a prayer and releasing something and letting something go, letting something flow, letting something new come in, um, working together in harmony. It makes me think of vibrations in the ocean now, like the whales and dolphins and like languages, you know, like different languages we maybe don't understand, like harmony. I think of the whales as having beautiful harmonic vibrations that are ancient and huge and healing, you know, just like something like maybe harp or vibrations that are not so healing or not really helpful can hinder something. So it's 
not focus, it's changing our focus. We can have awareness to things that are not good, but if we keep our intention and our focus on them, we're just giving them more power. So you're giving power to the one thing that you don't want to be in power. So take back the power and change your focus on the vibrations and healing, loving intentions that you can put out there. What you do want to have happen and heal and work out and, you know, the blessings you want to come through rather than the wrong focus. It's understanding the dark, scary monsters that are down there, but not being afraid of them. Understanding that I feel like we are very, 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 very powerful beings, more so than any machine we could put together. You know, we're an extraordinary machine. I just thought of the Fiona Apple song with that one. So, you know, it's having bigger victory than any machine could do because it's the victory in our souls all together, working together, what we're focused on, the intention we can do and the healing we can do on this earth together in your world, you know, in your relationships coming through, that all these vibrations are looking at the positive things that can come out of what we saw by waking up to the negative shit that's come our way. You know, it's now finding that counter thing that can like balance out that vibration. You have to have the opposite energy, the restriction to know how to heal it, to know what the opposite is, to understand the blessings and have appreciation of where we are, where we're going, what we want now. All right, so let's get one more card from the Oracle deck. I have the... Uh, Oracle of Visions. Let's pull one final card for Tuesday, the 29th of November. Clarity on the victory, the chariot, uh, clarity, um, communication. I hear strength in what you think. So having the strength in your mind and in your heart to pursue the things that you know are going to be victorious for you. All right, let's get one more card and have clarity on Tuesday. And that's eight, which is, oh, I just, I see the third eye. I want to say, like, I think of Jupiter for some reason. It's an eight, it's strength, it's power, it's holding that power, that energy in your hand. But it's almost like it's just in the ethers. It makes me think of like something in the mist, something you imagine, uh, visualizations, the sage, the shaman, the, I hear master, the teacher. Uh, there's so much color. Like in this, it's like you're stepping through something, you're going inside somewhere, you're grasping onto knowledge, you're foreseeing something. You've gone through a lot. He looks like he went through a lot to come to this point, to have this clarity, this vision, this idea, this balance back, this, I don't know, there's something light and hard in this card. This has never come up, so let's see what eight is. Eight is... Goals, dedication. Well, there you go. Goals, dedication, and process. It's the whole journey, you know? Not just the destination. It's the journey. It's the ride you're on right now. When we are motivated by goals that have deep meaning, by dreams that need completion, by pure love, by pure love that needs expressing. You know, it's there's something stagnant if you're not expressing this love of something that you want to do. You know, make a plan. Start to see the bigger picture so you can add that into your world. This thing that you love, it's going to bring you this dedication. So you do it little by little every day and pursue it and act upon it and have that victory. I mean, I lost, I lost my victory card with the chariot here, you know. So it could be something you see on film as well. Something that you saw that gets you going, you know, something that, I don't know, I see like, uh, I don't know, like historic films or some kind of documentary or something like that, I want to say. 
All right, so I'm gonna read this again. I got sidetracked. When we are motivated by goals that have deep meaning, by dreams that need completion, by pure love that needs expressing, then we truly live life. Greg Anderson. Card eight. In a large metaphysical sense, our journey through life is said to be full of transformation. Wait, be full of transformation from an imperfect, corruptible state towards a perfect, healthy, everlasting state. What does not kill us, make us makes us stronger. Thus, painful or difficult changes that we endure can, in theory, burnish us in a spiritual sense to a high, golden shine. That's what I was saying yesterday. Like, when you get kicked on your ass, sometimes that's when we rise the highest, the furthest, our soul blossoms because we just get stagnant and stuck in the 3D world of everything that's going on until sometimes some, sometimes something comes in our world and bursts something in. Whether that's a burst of pain, a burst of love, a burst of something, you know, it gets you moving. It puts the fire in your ass for some reason or you fall down and you get up bigger with that transformation, with that like phoenix energy rising. So thus painful or difficult changes we endure can in theory burnish us in a spiritual sense to a high golden shine. We can also seek out knowledge, opportunity, and challenge. It is not necessarily to merely allow life to happen to us. In this sense, an alchemist serves as an analogy for striving to achieve an end goal through study, experimentation, dedication, and perseverance. His facial markings trace the beginning and end points of his quest from base lead through its various stages of purification of the soul into gold. The symbol for gold appears in the center of his forehead where the third eye chakra is perceived to be. This card is a reminder to stay focused on the goal and to continually apply the required self-discipline. It will be all worth it in the end. That's your discipline, your self-discipline. You know, taking control of your environment, your goals, what you want to do, putting love into it, you know, making a plan, thinking clearly, um, pursuing your plan into action a little bit every day as soon as that big inspiration that's cool i wore my weird like 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 chemistry alchemy sweater here and we got that alchemy thing at the end so you start at your base metal and you have to filter things through you have to get rid of the impurities until it works you know until you rise above your situation and it moves smoothly so it becomes like gold so things don't get stuck. It's like gold. It's perfect. That energy you put into, when you put it out there, it's received just as perfect as when you sent it out there. I feel like it also comes down to understanding that it was never really imperfect. In the end, you're always on that perfect point in, you know, your position in your journey all along for your own growth to help you, you know, Move into the gold. Move into the golden sunshine, that golden aura, um, the golden spiritual light inside of you. I guess it doesn't have to be golden. I actually see rainbow of colors, all ends of the spectrum, but I'm getting gold with this. You know, and I know that when you put gold out there, it keeps all of its energy the whole way through. It doesn't lose anything. It stays pure. You know, it stays true. It starts with intention. I hope this is helpful for you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for stopping here and I'll